Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Let's say you're in the trade, you're working on plans, you have a ton of measurements in feet and inches, and you need to add them or subtract them. I'm gonna go over that really quickly in this video so you keep track of your feet and inches and your answers uh, make sense to everybody involved on the project. These first couple problems, I'm just gonna have feet and inches, and then I'll go to fractional pieces after that. So how we work in the US here is we work in feet, and there are 12 inches to the foot, and then usually you take that individual inch and cut it in half, and cut it in half, and cut it in half until you have 16 So inches, 12 inches to the foot, and then 16 16 to the inch, and we'll talk about that next. So let me just start with adding feet and inches together. The way I do this is I add the units together first. So I add all these together. So I have three inches plus 11 inches plus eight inches is gonna give me 22 inches. And then I add my feet together, six feet, nine feet, 15 plus four, 19 feet. But that doesn't make any sense, 19 feet, 22 inches. You have to take as many 12s in here out as possible. So one 12 will go in here Right, two 12s would be 24, so that's too much. So I'm gonna take one 12 out of this, leaving me with 10 inches, and that 12 inches that I took out is equal to one foot, and I'm gonna add that one foot to here, so my finished answer is 20 foot, 10 inches. And subtracting it works the exact same way, except maybe you're gonna to have to borrow. So three inches minus nine inches, I can't do that. So I'm gonna borrow one foot from here and make this seven feet, and I'm gonna take that foot and add those 12 inches here. So those 12 inches and those three inches are gonna give me 15 inches. 15 inches minus the nine inches will give me six inches. And then seven feet minus the five feet is two feet. So eight foot three inches minus five foot nine inches is equal to two foot six inches. And the check on that would be five foot nine inches plus the two foot six inches will give me 15 inches, seven feet. I take the 12 out of that, leaving me with three inches. I add that 12 I took out, which is one foot, and I add that foot over here, giving me eight foot, three inches. So I can see I did it correctly. After feet and inches, we go to 16th of an inch. And I know this rule is in 16th, because if I count up all these marks, one, two, three, four, that's a quarter, five, six, seven, eight, that's a half, nine, 10, 11, 12, three quarters, 13, 14, 15, 16, gives me a full inch. So now I'm in sixteenths. So now, let's say I have six foot three and a quarter inches, and I'm adding five foot and two and a half inches, and let's do one more, three feet, and five and a half inches. So I'm gonna do this pretty similarly the way I did the other problems. I'm just gonna do my fractional pieces first, and then if there's any excess, I'm gonna carry it over. If there's any excess of these 12, I'm gonna carry it over. So one quarter plus one half plus one half is one and one quarter inches. I'm gonna take that one right here and I'm gonna carry it up here. So this one right here gets carried up here. So I'm gonna leave me with a quarter inch. And then one and three is four, plus two is six. Six plus five is 11. There's nothing to carry. So I'm just gonna have six, five, 11, and three, 14. So I'm left with 14 feet, 11 and one quarter of an inch. Or it would have been 10 and one and one quarter, but that extra one bumped that up to 11. Pause the video right here and do this problem yourself. So let's say I have five and three and three eighths of an inch. I have six feet and 10 and one eighth of an inch and I have 10 feet, uh, 10, and let's do a quarter of an inch. Okay, so before I add fractions, I have to have a common denominator. 
So before I could add these three measurements together, I need a common denominator on my fractions. So that common denominator is going to be an eighth. So that one's good. That one's good. This one has to go to an eighth. So to make this an eighth, I got to multiply it by a two over a two. So this becomes two eighths. All right, two eighths is the same as one quarter, but now I have a common denominator. I'm going to add these three fractions together by adding only the numerator. Three and one is four. Four and two is six, so that's going to give me six eighths. Three and ten is thirteen, and ten is twenty-three. And then over here I have five and six, eleven. Eleven and ten is twenty-one. So I have twenty-one feet. 23 and 6 eighths of an inch. Well, 12 goes in at 23 one time, so I'm going to take 12 out of that and put it here. So I'm going to pull a 12 out of this, 12 inches, and put it here to give me 22 feet. I pull a 12 out of there, and I'm left with an 11. 6 eighths still reduces. 2 will go into that three times. 2 will go into that four times. So I'm left with 22 feet. 11 and 3 quarters of an inch. Let's go ahead and add these three numbers together. Make sure you pause the video and do this first, and then check your work against mine. So I got 14 feet, 8 and 7 eighths of an inch. As I look down here in my fractional parts of inches, they're all eighths except for this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert this into an eighth. So that's going to become two eighths. Now I'm going to add these fractional pieces together. Again, I have that common denominator, so I'm going to stay with that common denominator of 8. And I add across the top, 7 plus 2, 9. 9 and 3 is 12, so I end up with 12 eighths of an inch. 8, 10, and 5 is 23. And here I have 20, 14 and 6, 20 plus 10, 30. So I have 30 feet, 23 and 12 eighths of an inch. So what I'm going to do with that 12 eighths, first thing I'm going to do is say 8 goes into 12 one time with 4 left over. So I'm going to pull that 8 out of this, and I'm going to be left with 4 eighths. I took one of the eighths out, so that's going to go over here to give me 24. And then I still have that 30 feet. So I have 30 feet, 24 and 4 eighths of an inch. And then that 4 eighths is now, I'm not pulling anything out, I'm just going to reduce it to 1 half of an inch. 12 goes into here twice, right? 12 times 2 is 24. So 12 is going to go into here twice. I'm going to pull both those 12s out with nothing left over. And there are two 12s getting pulled out. So my final answer will be that 30 into 2, or 32 feet and a half inch. All right, well, I hope, hope that helps working with fractional measurements in the U.S. feet and inches. If it does, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. I'd love to make a video to help you out if I could. And this is Colfax Math, kind of a practical math channel. I appreciate all of you watching. Thank you.